I know that this person needs this thing and I know the solution. But as soon as I suggest a solution, they want to start poking holes in it or they feel like, okay, I'm going to try this solution later. Don't help. I say don't help people, but I don't mean that you shouldn't help people. Not in the way that it sounds. I mean, don't help them in the way that you're thinking. Because what you're thinking is going to have the contrary effect. Because life happens a lot in opposites. I can't emphasize this enough. I can't emphasize this enough. You see, people will need something. But many times, it's a bad idea to give it to them. What I mean is to offer it to them. Because if you offer it to them, they're going to put it aside because you're available to them. And in their minds, they're thinking, I will deal with this later. I'll come back to this. Let me go looking for that thing. They're looking. They're looking for it. Looking for it being the operative phrase. And then they will go and cry to other people that are looking for this thing. They'll even come to you and be crying to you that they're looking for it. But if you attempt to give them the solution... They will put it aside. It's the same thing that people do when they have talents and they put their talents aside. Their own talents that they could use to solve this problem or that problem, they put it aside while they keep looking for things that they need to solve the problems that the talents could have helped to solve in one way or the other. It's just a it's life. Life happens in opposites in many ways, in many circumstances, in many situations. It's the irony of life. It's amusing, but it's not really funny. So if you really want to help someone, don't do it by offering it. The question that you may have to answer is, how do I help this person in a way that they can actually access this help? So what you need to focus on is how do I make it accessible to this person that I want to help without offering it to them? Knowing that once you offer it to them, because it seems so simple and so readily available, they may just put it aside because all of a sudden, it's not something that they're searching for. Because they've magnified these things so much in their minds that it's like something that they need to go and do something to get hold of. So the question then becomes, how do I, how do I put it within their reach so that they can get hold of it and not reject it? How do I put it within their reach so that they can get hold of it without telling them, here, take this? That's the question that we should answer. And that way, you can help people. You can give them what they need. Just don't give it to them in a way that will make them not use it. Because you hear when they say, The thing that you have in your shokoto, shokoto is trouser. You have it in your shokoto, but you are going to shokoto to look for it. it. Happens all the time. Because perception isn't always reality. I can't tell you how many times that has happened with me and maybe with you as well. I know that this person needs this thing and I know the solution, but as soon as I suggest a solution, they want to start poking holes in it or they feel like, okay, I'm going to try this solution later. But in the meantime, whereas this is the solution. So how do I put it within their reach so that they can get hold of it and not reject it? If this video makes sense to you, I hope that you're able to use it to help someone. Help someone without allowing them to reject the help that they so need. So let me know in the comments. Like this video, share it, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? See you in the next video.